in order to capture our vision for Africa through Jami, we've chosen this word Jami as the video illustrates because it does two things that are important for us. One, Jami is a Swahili word that talks about the spirit of many Africans. And throughout, you've had Patricia and Bruno talk about our commitment to communities. In Africa, we know that communities are committed to each other. People act for each other, not just for themselves. We as a company as well, Jami reminds us and expresses exactly what we want to embody. We work with communities, we work with governments, we work with uh, NGOs, and we also work with our business partners. So Jami really does bring together both our vision and our commitment to communities, to the environment, and to running the business properly in a way that brings everybody else together. As you've heard, we've been in the game of sustainability for a very long time. We've always been very vested in the well-being of Africans, be it their health or their environment. What we will do going forward is we will focus on three areas where we have built capability and success. So we are bringing our best, for, for lack of a better word. The first thing is water. Water security is extremely important for Africa's development. It's also extremely important for our business. So our commitment is to replenish 100% of the volume of water that we use to manufacture our beverages. And we will do this in several ways. We will continue to benefit communities to access clean water, but we are expanding this commitment to water stewardship. You will see a lot more work that we do within our operations to use water more efficiently. In markets where the technologies allow us to do so, we might try to recycle or to reuse water. In all, we will not just benefit communities, but we will see how we use less water. Very important for Africa's security as well is to preserve the natural sources of water that both we and the communities that we serve are using. So we are accelerating our efforts under conservation of natural water resources. And the last piece, climate change is highly impacting access and availability of water in Africa. And so we will be more deliberate and dedicated in ensuring that when communities where we operate are affected by catastrophes, when we respond through emergency response programs, water is core to part of how we respond to, give, respond to give them relief. And the pandemic has certainly showed us the importance and significance of water in Africa. We also know that in Africa, to continue to contribute to the development and growth of Africa, the environment in which we operate and our communities operate must be clean and conducive. So we are accelerating our efforts in ensuring environmental sustainability in Africa. Globally in 2018, we already committed to a world without waste. Here in Africa, we are taking two significant actions that are possible, feasible, and significant for our communities. You will see us use more recycled material in our packaging, and that is foundational for us to be able to collect more and recycle more of the amount of packaging we put out through the sales of our beverages. And the last piece for Africa that's significant, many of our youth and our mothers and grandmothers lack opportunity, economic opportunity. As Asanda said, over the years, we've worked with over 2.5 million women in Africa to ensure that they had economic opportunities. We will be expanding this effort to our youth as well. They are the future of this continent and to us as a business, the future of our business as well. Their well-being, starting with their economic opportunities, is very important to us. And so we want to grow small businesses or strengthen those that exist, because it is these small businesses that are creating jobs for both our mothers, grandmothers, and the youth of today.